Hello, I'm James Burns from Peninsula Regional Medical Center's Occupational Health Services here at WBOC's Historic Studio D, and you're watching Delmarva Lab. Well, we want to welcome Dr. Burns. A lot of good information he had for us. Well, when it comes to our bodies, we all have our trouble spots. Some carry a little too much weight on their backside. Others seem to expand in the belly. And whether your belly sticks out a little bit or you're not too keen with the uh, muffin tops, there are some simple exercises that can help you out, help you tone your tummy. PRMC wellness manager Autumn Romanowski joins us in the studio today to show us what we can do to strengthen our, our muscles and welcome to the show. First of all, Thank you, you want to stress that you really can't flatten your tummy. Right, there's no such thing as spot reduction. So, mm -hmm. you know, say you want to lose weight in, in your stomach, your thigh, you can't just pick one spot and lose weight there. Losing weight is about healthy eating and exercise, a combination. But you can strengthen and tone the muscles um, by doing some strength training exercises. All right, and you're going to show us some uh, exercises we can do at home, starting sure. with the bicycle. Okay. So you want to lay down and you always want to make sure you do proper form and breathing technique. Okay. You put your hands behind your head. I'm going to put these aside. So okay. <laughs> hands behind your head. Okay. You're going to relax your head and neck into your hands. You're going to bring your legs up off the floor. And what we're going to do is reach our shoulder to our opposite knee as the knee comes in. And then we're going to exhale and switch to the other side. And we want to do it slow and controlled. We don't need to do it fast. So Slow we're not control. riding the bike. No, and we're reaching with our shoulder more than our elbow. So we're really using our oblique muscles, which are the muscles on the side of your abdominal area. Yeah, you can feel it. I can feel that. I can, that? I can feel that. I always have trouble with the breathing, and that's important. You want to exhale with exertion. E E. Okay. Exhale with exertion. Oh, so I okay. exhale as I reach. All right. Good. We got the hang of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the plank is something. We're not walking the plank, are we? We're not walking the plank. <laughs> you can do the plank two different ways. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show it to you first on your forearm. Okay. And this is more of what's called an isometric contraction, where we're just going to hold our bodies in a nice straight line. Okay. And we're just going to hold it here. You can do it for 30 seconds, a minute. Sometimes your shoulders get tired as well, but you should feel it in the abdominal area. Um, what you don't want to do is you don't want to arch your back. Okay. Because that can put pressure on the low back, and we absolutely don't want to do that. Strengthening your abdominal muscles helps prevent low back pain, which is a good thing. Yeah, you just kind of okay. pull your stomach up when pull you're doing it. it. Yes, and again, you want to breathe in and then out the mouth. Okay, and another way to do the plank, it's more of a Pilates plank, is you're actually all the way up where your hands are directly underneath your armpits, and again, you're in a nice straight line. Okay. So and your head, where should head it be? should be relaxed and just straight. Um, your neck is um, relaxed. You don't want to look up. You want to just look straight ahead down at the floor. There you go. Now, you mentioned Pilates. What exactly is that? Pilates is a type of exercise um, developed by Joseph Pilates many years ago, but came more popular recently. And again, it's all strengthening the whole core, not just the um, abdominal region, the low back, and all the way um, down through the legs. So mm -hmm. it's Strengthening again. All right, and finally, you're going to show us some crunches. There's a yeah. right and wrong way to do crunches. There is just a regular standard crunch. Feet are flat on the floor. Again, hands are behind your head. You relax your head into your hands, and you're just going to exhale. And you don't need to come up real far. What we tend to see people do is jerk their head and neck. We don't want to do that. We want to keep our chin up and lower down. I tell people to pretend you have an apple between your chin and your chest, oh. and you just keep it there. Exhale up. Yeah, because a lot of times, uh, you know, when I'm doing yeah. crunches, my mm -hmm. neck starts hurting. Yeah. Is that a sign that I'm doing it wrong? Or? It is. You should, you should just be able to relax your head and neck into your hands and use your abdominal muscles to pull you up, not your neck. Okay. So you got to exhale and lift up and back down. And then there's Good. the reverse crunch. All right, we're gonna cross our feet at the ankles. Mm -hmm. And this gets kind of more the lower abdominal muscle region. So what we do is as we exhale and come up, we bring our knees in and then we lower back down. And exhale in <laughs> and lower back down. Good. And when you come back down, you should feel the pull in the oh, lower yeah. abdominal region. Good. Now, how long should we do these exercises? You should do um, about, it's, 20 of them if you can. What you want to do is do them until you're fatigued. So for some people that might be 10, some people 15, and you just want to build up your repetition. Okay. Abdominal exercises are more of a muscular endurance, so the more repetitions, the better. Now, finally, you're going to show us some exercises we can actually do at our desk. Sure. Do you want me to sit down or just stay? 
<laughs> we'll just say sit. Stay sitting on the floor. Okay. Um, some things you can do just to work these muscles here. Say at your desk, you can mm -hmm. do a, just an oblique twist. Okay. Twist. You can twist and you should be able to feel it. Um, you want to try and keep the rest of your body still uh -huh. just using your abdominal muscles. Oh, okay. Um, if you could bring your knees in. So if you're holding onto your chair, you can bring your knees in and out. Should really be able you make to it look yeah. easy. <laughs> All right, Autumn, okay. thank you so much. Okay. Some simple steps that we can do. And of mm -hmm. course, for more information on how you can tone and strengthen your body, go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab. Well, still to come on Delmarva Life, we introduced you to Jonathan Metro of Ocean Pines in October, a finalist in Reba, uh, Red Book's 2013 Hot Husband Contest. Well, the results are in. We'll find out how this hot husband ranked and how his life has changed since snagging the sexy title. But first, if you're looking to buy something, maybe a present for your Valentine or your sweetie or something special for yourself, but you don't know where the store is, just go to delmarvalife.com. Go to the upper left-hand side of the screen to find the super search. Type in the name of, or category of the business you're looking for, and there you have it, a whole directory waiting for you. We'll be right back. <laughs> 